YouTube, what's going on? James is making an opening and yes, five days. It's been five days, guys. It's not gonna happen again. I had a pretty busy schedule. Um, I had the store showdown um, and then I had the big uh, 1K event in Burleson. So the uploads slowed down a little bit. I covered the Sabine Yellow deck that won the 3K out in Arizona and then you guys haven't heard from me. Um, I should have pre-recorded some content because I knew I was gonna be busy but I'm also new to you know doing this, so I just didn't. My apologies. Uh, in today's video, we are gonna be covering the 1K that happened out in Burleson, Texas. Your boy was a part of it. Your boy played in it. It was fun. It was a really good time. Me and a couple of the guys from the our local game store went down there. Uh, shout out Brandon and Josh. Uh, we went down there. It was pretty cool. A couple other of us were gonna be there, um, but they just didn't register in time. There was no openings. Um, having you know a lot more people there would have been cool, but uh, you know we we went there. We, we were there, we represented. Um, we'll go into you know all that here in a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, it's been five days. I missed you guys. Starting with this video, I'm gonna get back into the swing of things. Um, every three, maybe every two days, you'll be uh, seeing a new upload from me. Also, I'm gonna get back on the horse of the um, webcam tournament that I'm a part of. I've been kind of slacking on my game, so I'm gonna uh, play in more of those games and record them. Uh, also, some more, um, I'm, maybe if I just start doing some IRL content, uh, with some of the guys at the game store recording those games, uh, covering decks specifically from uh, the games over there. It'd be a pretty fun time. But anyway, yeah, let's uh, let's get right into this Burleson 1K coverage. So there's nothing official made yet. So I took it under my own accord to make myself a little cute little pie chart here. This is basically just a representation of all the leaders that were present at the event. Um, there were 72 total players. And as you can see, Boba, is the number one most represented deck in the field at 17. We also had 11 Sabines and 11 Vaders. We had seven Leias, five Idens and Hans, uh, four Tarkins and Lukes, and then it kind of just trails off from there. One Thrawn, that's your boy, I'm unique. Didn't really do much for me, but I was there. There's also one Chewbacca, Krennic, and Inquisitor. The one Krennic is probably the most um, interesting out of all these because I feel like Krennic is uh, seen as a you know higher end control deck, but also, maybe they're just, they knew that it wasn't gonna be so much a control meta. Um, my deck is, you know, it's formed really well into the control mirror, especially in game one with the main deck structure the way it is with Bounty Hunter Crews and Spark of Rebellions. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's five items. There was two palps, there was a Krennic. So nine total control decks. Um, I mean, there was like a couple of Vader Blues um, which I did end up playing against Invader Blue, stomped him. But most of the decks there were decks that I was not just prepared against and just bad matchups for my deck in general. So if this is a little bit of a spoiler on how the day went then. Oh, well. when it comes to the top eight breakdown, we have that right here. Uh, so three Bobas, one Leia, one Vader, two Idens and a Luke. I didn't go in from five Iden representation to two uh, into the top eight because it was 72 players, seven rounds of Swiss into a top eight. Uh, Iden going from five to two is actually pretty strong. Um, the rest of them, you know, there's one of Luke, Vader, Leia, three Boba. Um, the finals of this event was Boba Green versus Boba Yellow and Boba Green took it. Uh, shout out Justin from the Garbage Rollers. You guys not only, you know, organized the event really well, did a great job, but you know, you also took the, took the crown as it were. So, you know, good job all around. Um, it's a little unfortunate that the local 1K to me had a Boba Green taking home the whole thing. A little unfortunate. I don't like Boba Green, but shit happens. Now let's get over to Challenge, where we actually have the uh, Geek Out 1K Star Wars Unlimited Construction Tournament like bracket with the standings and all that good stuff. Um, so in the standings, um, we have the top eight that made it into the top cut was uh, Justin Allen, uh, which who he was piloting a Boba Fett uh, green. Um, he's actually the person that won the entire thing as well. So number one in Swiss and then he won as well. So shout out Justin. We got Lawton Burkhalter. He was a Boba Yellow player. These two were in the finals and Justin beat Lawton. So honestly, top eight look kind of how the final standings do, but there are slight differences. Then we have Ryan Tier Boga went 6-1 playing Vader Green. Final standings, also third place. Uh, Jason Traweek uh, playing Leia Red with Tarkintown, uh, fourth in the Swiss and then fourth in the final standings. And then things start mixing up a little bit. So Logan Palmer, fifth in Swiss going 6-1, actually finished seventh overall playing Iden Red uh, with Castro City. 
Then six, we have Tyler Foltz. He actually went from sixth in Swiss to fifth in final standings. Another garbage roller uh, playing Iden Blue. Then we have David Renner at seven. Um, David Renner was piloting uh, Luke Green, the third and final garbage roller in the top eight. Uh, he went from seventh and Swift to sixth in final standings. And then finally, to wrap it all up, we had John last name going uh five and two piloting a, another boba green list that you know he was eighth and swiss and he was eighth in the final standings as well so pretty healthy meta overall pretty fun tournament i had a blast doing it me and all the guys uh it was just a super fun environment um as you can see right here the man brandon Irwin. shout out brandon playing leia red he was between leia and cheer for that day he would have been the only cheer player if he did go with cheer but he went four three on the day pretty good then we have right here joshua rickard four and six going three and four uh pretty uh 46 place not four and six going three and four he was playing a uh, vader green as well um as a lot of other guys and you know vader green had a pretty good representation leia red had pretty good representation at this event so they were on the right path uh just you know the games and the matches just didn't go 100 percent in their favor then we got me james woods two and five the number one Thrawn player at the tournament, the number one James at the tournament as well. There's two other Jameses, James Wilson, uh, James Wiseman, Wiseman. Um, no offense to you guys, but take a seat. All right, take it each. All right, I'm the James. I'm the Thrawn player. But um, yeah, it's, you know, it's not the result I wanted, obviously. I wanted to do better. I still got to walk home with some really cool prizes. You know, I won a free set of tokens. I won some free sleeves to, you know, sleeve up my brand new creation. Pretty cool event, pretty fun. We had good food, good times, a bunch of good people. A couple of people actually recognized me from my channel. Um, I believe Dan Ward was piloting a Boba Green deck. Shout out you. Uh, he asked if I had a YouTube channel, so I'm assuming that you know who I am. Maybe you'll see this video. He beat me by blowing up his own Ruthless Raider with a overwhelming barrage. That was a really cool interaction. You learn something new every day, right? <laughs> this video is going live at 12 on Monday like my videos usually do. They go live at 12. Um, if Garbage Rollers have uploaded a link uh, covering the event with all the uh, actual deck lists for top eight, I'll keep that in the description and the top comment. I'll be pinned. Um, but until that happens, um, there won't you won't see it. But as soon as they upload that information, I'll plug it into the description and a pinned top comment. That way you can look through and comb through the top eight lists, get some inspiration uh, because, you know, some great people played today uh, or that day, not today, but yesterday, Sunday. So. Um, yeah, let's just talk about me now. Personally, if you guys wanted just the bare bones overview Burleson 1K coverage, that's where this will end. I'm gonna go into my personal experience, how my matches went and all that stuff. And then I'll end the video with what I'm cooking with now. So going into the event, uh, there was actually some, a uh, little bit of tweaks and changes made to my list versus what I had uploaded uh, in a couple videos prior, whenever I was talking about how Thrawn is the king of control. You know, obviously, He's just not there yet. He's missing some key pieces set to surely he'll be able to use some of the cards better than other leaders. Uh, at this moment in time, there's just leaders that utilize the set one pool of cards better than Thrawn and that's okay. And you know, I was slamming my head against this wall for a month and a half, two months now. I want Thrawn to work. I love Thrawn. He's a great character, um, but not winning the store showdown, not top cutting it and then not, you know, winning or even top cutting the Burleson event has just gone to show that you know, I know a lot about the game and I feel like I'm a good player, but Thrawn at the moment is just not there, right? So this is what the list looked like going into the event. Um, let me move my little uh, camera out of the way so you can see the sideboard. Um, I had two Devotion and three making openings for the uh, aggro games. They would get sideboarded in game two. Uh, and then control games, I would have Viper Probe Droid with the third search and a Chimera come in as well. Um, really just depending. I just like Chimera because, uh, I mean, you're playing a Thrawn deck. I want Chimera in the Thrawn deck. It's not a good card, but I just want it in there for the theme, right? Obviously, I'm playing this deck more so to have fun with it at this point because I know like it's not going to go super well. Um, Bounty Hunter Crew proved to be the MVP of the deck. I love this card. Recurring events from my discard pile just to use them again the next turn, if not the same turn, is absolutely insane. Um, for six resources, and it's an ambush body as well. There were a couple, there was one game at the tournament I super laser blasted five times. There's a couple games where I got multiple vigilances off without even seeing them all in my deck. 
um, I was able to, in one um, aggro game, I had to bounty hunter crew to get a repair out of my discard pile just to live and um, take you know one of the games to move on to the next one uh, because I needed the HP. Bounty hunter crew, definitely the MVP. Spark and restock are the two most useless cards in this deck for this event, for this meta, at this event, because I played against a control deck once and I absolutely beat the shit out of it without these cards. The way I was just flipping through everything, using Bounty Hunter crews to get my Vigilances back and milling them, like no contest. These cards were barely, if not ever used. So I basically had four dead slots in my deck at the event. Uh, one card that I miss that I wish and I never took out of my original Thrawn Concoction is just oh, Outmaneuver. Um, you know, a really nice um, single sided, um, you know, not a board wipe necessarily, but you know, exhaust them to buy yourself some time. And my number one most hated card at the event, Relentless, especially if you're ramping into it with Vader Green or Boba Green, which are the majority of my matches. It comes down before I can even play an Avenger to blow it up. I don't have enough units to trade out their units that way. There's only the, uh, the you know, Relentless on board for me to Avenger. Um, that card, that caused me so many woes at the event. So in total, I went two and five in my matches. Uh, I played a total of 19 games within those seven matches because five of them went to game three. I won eight games and I lost 11. So honestly, I'm not super mad at the whole performance. You know, I was playing against a lot of my worst matchups and that comes out to about 40, 42% win rate. So I got to take what I can, right? Uh, game one was Sabine Yellow, lost 0-2, just too fast for me, got absolutely smoked. Things turned around game two and I played Vader Blue, 2-0 smoked them. Uh, control decks have nothing on this control deck. I think I crafted this deck perfectly for a control meta where there's gonna be a lot of control deck seen in the, in the arena, in the atmosphere. But, you know, as you know, there was not a whole lot of control decks being played. So this deck really just fell pretty hard by the wayside. Um, so game three, Vader Green, one and two. Um, most of the games where I went one and two, I win game one and then the sideboarding just kills me. They pull out Relentless if they didn't already have it. And you know, it's GG, it's a, it's a wrap it up. Um, next game after that, Boba Green, one and two. The same thing And both of these uh, matches, I did win game one just to go 0-2 down. It's, it's hard, it's hard, you know. Um, I do feel like I was a really good pilot. I've been playing Thrawn for a long time and I feel like I'm a good player, but there's just some things that this deck cannot overcome in the current state of just the cards in general and how they work with Thrawn. Um, taking notes definitely helps. There was a few times where I was assessing a situation and I knew exactly what their hand of three, four cards was. Like I knew, I, it's like it was like I had x-ray vision, right? And playing Thrawn, that felt really cool and thematic, but just couldn't get there all the time man match five was vader green and this is my other win where i went 2-1 um i actually won game one lost game two because he sideboarded in relentlesses but game three i had a blinder and i um sparked one of his relentlesses and hit the other two off of one vigilance um felt very good um when i saw it i kind of smirked and i knew that the game wasn't going to be going on much longer just you know did removal pretty well on his pretty big bombs that he had uh, overwhelming barrage when i need to vanquish count dooku avenger like it was a fun time but then afterwards boba yellow went down one two that deck is extremely fast and then boba green for my final match one two yet again which gets me to the two and five record with eight and eleven on the games so didn't do the best. But now I've retired Thrawn Blue and I've moved on. And this is the current deck that I am running now. It's uh, just version one, so changes will be coming. Um, I wanted to just move on from Thrawn itself. I wanted to try something different. And as I was making a deck list for Chewbacca, like 2 a.m., I was just looking over and I was like, man, like I've been playing Thrawn for so long. His ability is just so fun and I know it's also probably a little annoying for the enemy where I'm just like, hey, let me see the top card, top card, top card, top card. And just at the event, it was funny because the majority of the people I played against, they had to grab Thrawn and look at him to read what he does because he's just so obscure. It kind of makes me feel good. I don't know why. I just like playing stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is the current build. Um, I played it today just kind of casually. It's 
okay. I mean, it's just version one of this deck. It goes a lot faster than Blue Thron. That's for sure. Cunning for four, it's a great card. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with today. Um, Burleson was fun, excited to do more tournaments. Shout out the Garbage Rollers, and I'll see you guys again in two to three days. I'm gonna get back on schedule. I'm gonna be doing some deck tech coverages over the first place Burleson deck, probably. I'm gonna go over who won our actual store showdown here in Tyler, Texas. Kind of go over his deck list, probably with them as well. Um, like a little interview style video, which will be pretty cool. Um, more gameplay videos on the channel from the tournament I'm in. I've been slack and there's only one gameplay video on my channel. Like, come on, man. Uh, but yeah, whole lots of stuff going on. Hopefully I'll hit 500 subs, if not by my birthday, by the end of May, that'd be pretty cool. But until next time, it's been James with Make an Opening. Peace out. Boom, 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 boom.